22 years ago, new regulations effectively banned carding by police in Ontario. That's when officers arbitrarily stop and ID people on the streets. Well, now City News has learned the practice is allegedly being carried out by immigration officers here in Toronto. It's raising alarm bells from advocacy groups who say random ID checks are illegal. But the problem is there's no oversight body monitoring the enforcement agency. The fact of the matter is the CBSA is like the Wild West. You know, immigration enforcement runs amok. Uh, they target people, they jail them up forever. No one's controlling them. That reaction from an advocate to reports that immigration officers were here Monday, allegedly stopping people on the street and asking for ID. This, according to an account from a City News viewer who didn't want to be identified. She says her father went into a convenience store to buy cigarettes near Lawrence and Weston. And when he came out, there was a man and a woman, both dressed in jeans and had dark jackets, maybe around their 30s, going up to people, all obviously of color, and taking them aside. She says they identified themselves as immigration officers, showed their badges and asked her father for ID to prove he was legally in Canada. He gave them his driver's license and they accused him of lying. The viewer says it wasn't until he provided his wife's name that they determined he was telling the truth, commenting, you don't look Portuguese, presumably referring to his dark complexion. The woman tells us she was concerned the whole interaction might be some sort of scam and reported it to police. But City News has confirmed with Canadian Border Services Agency that immigration officers were in the area on Monday, July 8th, but they won't say what they were doing there. City News sent a number of questions to CBSA. It took two days to get a response. In a statement, a spokesperson writes, the CBSA does not publicly discuss ongoing investigations or provide information relating to investigative techniques or plans for specific lawful investigations. Hours later, in a second email, they added, the Canada Border Services Agency does not conduct random street checks. But multiple advocates we spoke with disagree. That's absolutely not true. From our experience in rural settings, so in southwest Ontario, the Windsor-Essex area, uh, we've confirmed that Canadian Border Services has undertaken similar type of uh, racial profiling checks. Chris Ramsarup with Justice for Migrant Workers says it doesn't end at street checks. He claims immigration officers often stop vans traveling to and from work sites and even raid places where undocumented people may be working. Immigration would enter a workplace. They would divide workers. Uh, so they'll be asking for everybody's identification, divide Canadian and non-Canadian workers uh, in separate lines, and then uh, process and detain uh, non-status uh, workers. The woman we spoke with told us that her father witnessed officers approach another woman. And when she didn't produce documentation, she was escorted away in a vehicle. Ramsroop says if the officers were performing random street checks, that would be illegal. It's our understanding that border services should have a warrant uh, when processing or talking to people. And in many cases, people don't know this. Advocates tell us one of the biggest issues is that no one is policing the CBSA. There is no real oversight body. They can complain to the CBSA about the CBSA, which we know is completely uh, ineffective. The Liberals had introduced a bill that would have created an outside review body for border agents, but it stalled in the Senate last month. We caught up with the Minister of Immigration at an announcement today. He also represents the riding where Monday's alleged incident took place. I'm not in charge of CBSA, but I can tell you that carding is wrong. It doesn't matter what kind of institution is, doing, is carrying it out. And we as a society have to ensure that our institutions uh, are put in place measures to make sure that, uh, that this activity does not occur uh, at all. Now, CBSA has faced heat in the past for its actions. In 2006, they were criticized for a sweeping raid at Dufferin Mall, where officers arrested undocumented migrants after shutting down the mall and checking IDs. Now, the CBSA remains the only public safety agency without an independent oversight body in Canada.